Hello everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and I've actually got the rabbit with his clothes on so if you've been waiting to see the rabbit's clothes then here he is so we'll let you have a look at him so he's got trainers little booty type trainers there dungarees and we've just put a, 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 a carrot on the pocket for him and a little neck tie there to keep him warm. Um, I didn't make him a uh, jumper to go underneath, but there are plenty of patterns for the jumper. But um, I decided that uh, he would look pretty cool just in his dungarees. And I'm really, really pleased with the result. Oh, I'll show you the back because the back is really nice. So the back is just buttoned through so that you can take his clothes off. And I just use these little star type buttons and they look really nice. And those all but unbutton. So uh, so you can take his dungarees off and uh, all his clothes are removable. And his little shoes as well, they just unlace and they come off. So, uh, so there he is, the rabbit with his clothes. So if you haven't seen uh, the, the video before of the rabbit, then um, I made him from this book, Knitted Animal Friends, and it's by Louise Crowther. And it's, it's a little bit tatty now because the dog's had a chew of it, unfortunately. But um, so there's the pattern. They call it a hare, but to me it's a rabbit, a hare, all pretty much the same, aren't they? Um, and this one, uh, they made a little girl in there. So she's wearing a dress and a cardigan, but I was making this rabbit for my grandson so i thought he'd probably prefer it to be a little boy so uh so so all of the clothes in the book are um interchangeable so you, you they're all fit to whichever animal you make and there are lots of animals to make so um so we went for the dungarees which are actually on the horse in the book but uh but look pretty good on the rabbit so um so yeah so uh I find it then um, very easy patterns to follow. I will say that a lot of it is knitted in the round, but I don't know how to knit in the round and I meant to learn, but I still haven't. Um, so I, I don't know how to knit in the round. So I've actually knitted it on straight needles and just use the, just follow the pattern on straight needles and then just sewn them up the back where they needed stitching and, and the insides of the legs. So um, easily doable if you're not into knitting in the round. If you are, that's an added bonus. You can uh, do it that way. But um, really cute you can add your own details you know choose different buttons different things you can put like i say we could have put different tops on him underneath the wool they are using is sheppy's stone wash um, and they've used that for the clothes and the um the, the the rabbit and it's um it's not a four ply and it's not a double knit in it's somewhere in the middle they call it a sports yarn and it's somewhere in the middle um, I don't like four ply or thin yarns, so I've knitted him all in, in my normal double knitting wool that I already had. And um, I just use bigger needles. So I, I up the needle size to four millimetres and done them all in double knitting, which just means that he's come out a bit bigger than uh, than we would uh, than he would have before, really. But it's all worked out beautifully well. As long as you stick with the same needles and the same type of wool, your results will be fine. So... Um, so anyway, so that's the rabbit with his clothes. So uh, absolutely delighted with him. I mean, he, he's, he's just come out fabulous. He really has. He looks really professional. Um, so I say pattern is easy to follow. Uh, there are lots of different shoes that you can make, all, all different sorts of things. So there's pants, there's socks, many different items for your cuddly toys to wear so uh so go for it so um anyway that's the rabbit with his clothes <laughs> 